Today we'll be doing the Toy Business Designer Badge for daisies. Let's start with our Girl Scout promise. On my honor, I will try to serve God and my country and to help people at all times and to live by the Girl Scout law. Now, we can't follow the law if we don't know it. Here's the law. I will do my best to be honest and fair, friendly and helpful, considerate and caring, courageous and strong, and responsible for what I say and do, respect myself and others, respect authority, use resources wisely, make the world a better place, and be a sister to every Girl Scout. Now, as you girls know, we'll be doing the Toy Business Center Badge. Here are the steps that we need to do to earn the badge. First, we will come up with an idea for the toy. We will make the toy even better, and then we will pitch the idea. Here are words you get to start in. Brainstorm is to come up with an idea. An entrepreneur is someone who starts a business. Feedback is what you get after you ask about something. People will give you feedback in response to your question. A model is what your toy will look like. And a pitch is how you'll want us, is what you'll tell us to buy a toy. You don't want to go like, buy my toy. You want to say why we should buy your toy. Take 30 seconds and go grab your favorite toy. Why do you like your toy? What makes your toy special? When toy designers imagine new toys, they need to think of something that makes that new toy special. Let's learn how toys are invented. Hi, it's Doug. Toys. Are you ever really too old to like toys? I mean, I don't think so. I've certainly got my share of toys on my desk here at work. You might know this one. Or check out this 3D printed skull of a T-Rex. It's based on the real skull of an actual Tyrannosaurus Rex. It's one of my favorites. Someone named Daniela has a question about toys. Let's give Daniela a call now. Hi, Doug. Hi, Daniela. I have a question for you. How are toys invented? Oh, that's a great question. Maybe our love of toys never changes. Even adults can still like toys. But there's one thing about toys that has changed over time, and that's the toys themselves. The fidget spinner is a great example. This became one of the most popular toys in the year 2017. But when I was growing up, as a kid in the 1980s, fidget spinners didn't even exist. That's because they hadn't been invented yet. For every generation of children, or group of children born around the same time, there are new toys that get invented toys that the adults in their lives didn't have when they were kids. For me, when I was a kid, Legos were still a pretty new invention at that time, at least in the United States where I was growing up. My parents didn't play with Legos when they were kids because they didn't have them yet. And when my parents were kids, that was the first time that things like Mr. Potato Head had been invented, making a face using plastic parts you insert into an actual potato. That was new to them. Their parents didn't have that as kids. Other new toy inventions of that time included mushy, squishy materials like Play-Doh and something called Silly Putty. These were really popular when my parents were kids. Now, some of these toys, they're still around. You might have played with some new versions of these older toys yourself. But so many of the toys you might know and have played with are actually new kinds of toys. They didn't exist before. Someone had to invent them. How do new toys get invented in the first place? Who comes up with them? And how do they do it? What do you think? Before I say anything more, now would be a good time to pause the video and discuss. Okay, you ready? Well, there are so many different inventors and so many different toys. I'd love to answer this question instead by telling you a story, a true story about one of these inventors, this guy. His name is Lonnie Johnson. While Lonnie is an inventor, he hasn't always been a toy inventor. 
And this is part of Lonnie's story that's so interesting. You see, Lonnie started out as an engineer, working for places like the U.S. Air Force and NASA. The inventions he made were things used by scientists, not kids. One day, though, Lonnie was busy working on a new part for a water pump, something that was being used inside of a new kind of refrigerator that he'd been asked to work on. While he was busy testing out his new idea, in his bathroom, no less, he'd made a mistake, and suddenly, a powerful jet of water shot out. It got water everywhere. And that's when Lonnie got inspired. Noticing how powerful the jet of water was, he got the idea to make a toy that he thought his daughter might love. A new kind of toy water blaster. He went down to his basement and started working on what inventors call a prototype, a very simple first version of his idea. Once he finished the prototype, his daughter and all her neighborhood friends tried it out, and they thought it was awesome. Eventually, Lonnie found a toy company to be his partner, to help make a more finished version of his prototype, and to help make lots of these. After trying out different names for it, they finally settled on the name Super Soaker, and it became one of the most popular toys of the 1990s. Now, the idea of a toy where kids can spray each other with water for fun wasn't a new idea. Toy water blasters had been around for a while, but Lonnie Johnson's invention was different. This was a water blaster that used the power of water pressure, blasting out of a nozzle. All thanks to Lonnie being inspired by a mistake he made while working on a different project. Now, this is just one story of how one toy got invented, but there are important things we can learn from it which are true of most inventions. One thing especially worth noticing is what Lonnie chose to do after that moment he made a mistake, that moment when water blasted everywhere. It would be totally normal to get frustrated by that, to think, oh man, what a mess. And maybe Lonnie wasn't excited about having to clean all of that up. But as an inventor, Lonnie chose a different way of looking at a situation like this. Instead of focusing on his frustration or disappointment at his mistake, after that water blasted everywhere, Lonnie thought to himself, wow, that was surprising. I didn't expect that. Huh, what can I do with this new thing I learned? As you can tell from this story, Lonnie did a lot. And with all the money he made from the super soaker, he even went on to build his own laboratory, where he and his team have continued to make new inventions to this day. Inventions both for children and for adults. That's all for this week's question. Thanks, Daniela, for asking it. Now, for the next episode, with Valentine's Day coming up, I picked out three questions from the question jar that all have something to do with the heart. When this video is done playing, you'll get to vote on one. You can choose from... Why does your heart have valves? How does your heart pump blood? Or what is your heart made of? So submit your vote when the video is over. I want to hear from all of you watching. There are mysteries all around us. Stay curious and see you next week. Okay, girls, now it's your turn. Think about the toy you brought out. What do you like about your toy? Could you make your toy even better? When making your own toy, you had to think about what type of toy you would like to play with, what type of toy would your friends like to play with, and who you would design a toy for. Draw your toy. Pause for as long as you need. When making your toy, think about these. What makes your toy fun? What is your toy made out of? How do you play with it? And who is it for? On to step two. We're going to make your idea even better. Fellow Girl Scouts will ask you questions like this. What makes your toy fun? What is your toy made out of? How do you play with it? Ask your fellow Girl Scouts for feedback. It's time to improve your idea. Using the feedback you gathered from your fellow Girl Scouts, you can improve your idea. Gathering feedback is an important part to improve your model and becoming an entrepreneur. Okay girls, let's move on to step three. 
pitching your idea. Convince us to buy your toy by pitching your idea. Put this link into the search. This link will tell you about a girl entrepreneur. Congratulations, Girl Scouts. You have earned the Toy Business Designer Badge. You created a new toy, you improved a new toy, and you shared it with others. Just like a toy business designer.